In Acts 23, Paul starts the chapter with a very powerful statement. Brothers, he said, I have always lived before God with a clear conscience. Offended at Paul's statement, Ananias ordered Paul to be slapped, and Paul rebukes him quite strongly. But here's the thing, Paul didn't realize that Ananias was the high priest. As soon as Paul is made aware of who Ananias is, he immediately and publicly apologizes, and even quotes the command in Exodus 22, which he had just unknowingly broken. After that, he begins to find common ground with his accusers by pointing out belief systems that they had shared in common. Just in these first nine verses, Paul is an example of how we can live before God with a clear conscience today. First, know the scriptures. Paul proved even to his accusers that he knew the scriptures well, probably better than they did. Second, we should live by the scriptures. Paul didn't just study the scriptures, he obeyed them. And third, he was quick to repent. Paul was humble enough to apologize on the spot and change his ways. Remember, he did the same thing when Jesus first confronted him on the road to Damascus. Fourth and finally, strive for connection with people around you. Even in the face of violent accusers, Paul managed to find common ground. God uses people who live like this. Listen to how Jesus encouraged Paul in verse 11. That night the Lord appeared to Paul and said, Be encouraged, Paul. Just as you have been a witness to me in Jerusalem, you must preach the good news in Rome as well.